everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Rivals. One last ride series, ladies and gents. Today we're doing race 410 to chase. We're tackling Kansas. Um, last race we went to was Dover. Uh, we failed to go three in a row. Dover's a pretty tough trap, but based on strategy, uh, we managed to get a top 10, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I was hoping for a top 10, and we got it. So. Anyway, we're on to Kansas. Uh, very similar to Las Vegas earlier in the chase. We, we won on strategy uh, by just taking right, so we may do the same here. Probably not. But anyway, uh, as far as the, as far as the stands go, we're up by seven over Joey Legato, nine over William Byron, twelve over Tyler Rennick, nineteen over Dan Hamlin, and basically uh, the top. 11 are within a race because the top 11 yeah because you can maximum you can make up 40 points in one race so basically the top 10 are within a race because basically you can maximally make um that's if if i finish if i win the race and like let's say joe legato finishes 36 on down that's one point that's 39 points you can make up in one race so right now we have a seven point cushion so I would like to go to Phoenix, or Texas, or I want to leave Martinsville with a full race lead, but will it happen? Who knows? Anyways, the scheme, there you see it, we're going with the Gear Ranch car for the second time of the chase. We did it with Vegas and we won, so might as well go with it again. And the settings, gotta show them, so I get, I, no, I'm about bullshitting people. No sis, because we're a Hall of Famer. Same stuff as always. Um, yep, okay. Uh, let's see, 105 difficulty, we're going to do times two today, uh, just like last week, so, everything else is the same, for the most part, so, that's all we got, and without further ado, let's head into Kansas. Welcome to Kansas Speedway, I'm Alex Hayden, bringing you the action from this 1.5 mile tri-oval. Drivers will be working their way up the track to find more grip from the progressive banking. This is a racetrack where cautions breed cautions, so the drivers will need to stay out of trouble today. Yes, we do. All right. Sorry for the bull hole, but anyway, uh, we'll go with the setup. The only thing we change is the wedge. We hired it up by a full round. Other than that, everything else is the same. So we didn't change a lot, so we're going to... Do the traditional, skip practice, skip qualifying, so that way there's no cheating. And we're 38 on the outside line. All right. All right, well, um, let's see if we can go back-to-back -back on mile and a half. Or will we get a solid running? So, and, and maintain our point lead, or if not, maybe gain some points on the guy. Because that's the most important thing at the end of the day, is to get, is to get as many points as possible. You don't have to... Michael Bridges proved it in his F1 NASCAR thing. You don't have to win every race. You just have to be consistent, so... Remember back then where consistency was important? And, like, not every race mattered? Those were the good days. But anyway, let's jump into the race. We're ready to head trackside and see the drivers make their final preparations before they go racing today at Kansas Speedway. I don't know why I forgot to hire the volume, but there's that. You guys probably heard the announcement, but I forgot about it. But anyway, here we go. For the fourth race of the chase at Kansas. Full time. And... Coming to green. We are on the way to Kansas! Trouble on the start, but then again, we can go about 30 live, so easily a two-stop race. Trouble already on the start. We got a big hair room, but then again, nowhere to go. I want to go to the bottom, but I got nowhere to go. Okay, we get to the bottom now. And, like, and just like Vegas, the bat is going to be easy, but as soon as we get up to like the top half, it's going to start getting harder. And again, this track, just like Vegas, you're allowed to go below the apron and make some passes, but William Byron... Is leading the race. I see Joe Legato, so that's good for me. I see him struggling, which is good. But William Byron, he he's nine points behind me. And if I don't run well here, and if he wins, he's gonna gain a lot of points, and I'm gonna be in trouble. 
going into Charlotte and Talladega the next two Sundays. Look ahead for me here. Clear out. Right, here we go. Big run off of four. We're going to be up to 28th in two laps. Clear. So we are moving forward. But then again, we're starting in the back. But then again, no stages. So we got pretty much the whole 100 miles to get up to the front of the pack. Or at least get as many points as possible. And that's the most important thing at the end of the day is to get as many points as you can. Well right, guys, we're doing we're doing the old school rules. And this is all for the Tory 14 schedule, but instead Here. without the eliminations. That's what this one has based on. Up to 25th, so we gain a few positions. Big run to turn one. Still there. Gotta take our time. We got the entire race. We still gotta make a stop, however. That one's coming hard up top. Outside. Now I got both the RFK cars in front of me. And there's Legato trying to march still forward. There. I want to march forward. I want him to struggle. Bell's gonna slow up in front of Brad. That's gonna help still me there. out. We're gonna go to the bottom here, up to 22nd. And again, this is challenging. That's why I like. That's why I want. That's why I want. All right, clear out. I know where to go. Now I got Fords in front of me. Underneath Kazaski came down to make a three wide. About to go up high the field. Underneath Cindric, the rookie. We're gonna drive from Austin Dill, who did well at Dover. Oh, Brad! And we're, we're gonna be 21st. 20th! Alright, it's so rough half the field in five laps. And now it's starting to get a little bit challenging, like I said. As soon as I get half the field, it's gonna start getting harder. And I'm proven right. Like I said, I'm hard for a solid run today. So, Austin Dillon was leading at one point. Now he's falling back. I don't know what happened to him. He was leading. Uh, looks like we're still going to be 20, but we're going to get a big run on Suarez. Excellent lap. Good job. Yeah, not the best car, but we're doing good. Yaley! Chad Yaley's up here! Now, let me why they're slowing us all down. It's Chad Yaley's up here. Sorry, Suarez. Yeah, the car is getting a little bit tight, but then again, I wanted to be tight just so it doesn't get loose on the bottom. But anyway, now we're going to underneath Chad Yaley for 17. So far, we're going in the right direction. I'm going really to try to move up, move up the racetrack because I think the car is built for moving up the track. And are down to the bottom. I got Chris Bush underneath me, but we're going to make the pass. And it looks like. We got a little breathing room. All right, looks like we're finally catching up to this front pack. I gotta start running the high line. I just like that, we ruined Redick, and we basically ruined the front pack. Joe Legato is already up in the top 10. So he's like, he's got a fast car. Again, he's starting to back him on with me, and he's already up in the top 10. He's already got by Brad. Brad's moving up. They got by Legato's teammate, Blaney. That's how fast they are, and... It's amazing how I'm struggling. I have to move up the race track to actually gain time. That's how I got by Larson and Stenhouse. Or Larson and Rennick as I moved up the track. I actually found some speed. There's the man who won his last race in that exact same car. What if? Oh shit. Oh shit. It wasn't the previous entry to the high line, but we got by Boogity. So now we're up the 14th. Alex Bowman the leader. Alex Bowman's not like a real championship contender yet. I, I, I also don't remember where he's at in points, but I gotta get by this front pack or get by these cars in order for it to have a realistic shot. But luckily here we can we can short pit to make up some positions. But we're gonna have to We're gonna have to be aggressive. Oh sorry, what if? All clear, nothing coming out back. Okay, he saved it. Good boy. We're up to 13th place. We're going to have to pit in about 12 laps, 12, 13, 12, 14 laps, we're going to have to pit. We are going to short pit. Oh, trouble! All the way to the wall. Clear out back. All oh, boy, I might get the lead from this. Did I expect it? And leader. I did not expect that, but 
We went from 13th to 1st after that little incident, which I did not expect, but here we are. <laughs> did not think we'll be up here, but somehow we're leading. I don't know what we'll hold on to it for long, but I think we'll pretty much stay up here. Legato's back there. I want to keep him behind me. That was close. We're gonna we're gonna lead a full green flag lap. Okay, well, I did not think we'll be up here. I thought it was gonna take us about half the race like it did in Vegas. But now the car is getting pretty tight because it's banged up everywhere, but as long as we stay up here, this is gonna be really good. If we stay up here, but Bumming our knees before the lead. Yeah, the car's starting to get a little tight, so I might have to start rolling the high line. One sec. Look at outside. My clear. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, clear. There was a little breathing room. Alright, I've got fucking choice I take my life. Yeah, I gotta start rolling high, because the car is starting to get a little tight, so now I have to start rolling high. All by himself. Going for the car to handle it, but then again, we're gonna have all the power down the back. Yeah, the car is starting to get tight. I gotta fix it. So, of course, I'm paying early, but I think it's the cars that now. spun. Is that Suarez on pay with, like, the, the, what, the third straight race he's had? Is, he was involved in some incident? I think it was Suarez. I don't know if it was Suarez, because I think I saw a black, green car, and it looks like him for, like, the third straight race who was involved in some incident. Poor Suarez can't catch a break. Got a car low now. Yeah, we're falling bad because of the damage on the car. Bomb is free. Use it if you need it. But hey, we're now we're in the front pack after that little incident where I did not expect to be up here, but here we are. We have a chance to somehow maintain our point lead. Yeah, this car is getting really bad with the damage. Like, we can't keep up. And no one for us to keep up, we gotta roll the middle to the top. Cause this, we cannot keep up with anyone. We got, yeah, we got arrow damage. Got and we get, I'm, I'm behind the Elliots. I gotta stay behind my one draft. But yeah, anyway, we're doing so good. Oh, I got in the fence myself. Looking inside now, they're down low. I'm gonna have to waste precious time on pit road to fix this thing. Oh my god, doesn't want to turn with the damage. Bottom's covered. Now this is where I really need that, um, that trend of one, one yell per race. Cause, the, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know if I want to fix the car under, under green, cause I get green, yellow flipped. Every time I say it. I'd rather fix the car under caution than under green flag, cause then that's precious time we waste. And that means for later, I gotta go with rights, but I really hope we get that one trend yell per race, because this car sucks. I have to roll the top in order to get good handling. Because this thing doesn't handle worth the damn if I run the bottom lane, unless the car's gonna slide out the track, but. I don't know, I think we're probably just gonna chill for a bit. Because there's nothing I can do. It's a risk of coming early. Car outside, hold I come set house to the outside. I just, I just got nothing. This car is so banged up. Leaders coming to pit. Okay, they're coming. So I'm pinning this lap. Looks like set house is coming. I'm gonna let Byron go. This song get pressure. Okay, we're we're gonna be aggressive. Slow down. Okay, that's five seconds. Okay. We'll wait, we'll wait five seconds. Four tires of fuel out of the way. All right, here we go. First green flag stop. Yeah, 20 seconds. There's really nothing I can do. This car needs fix. Because they can't handle worth the damn. I can't go through the corners perfectly. Unless if I roll the outside, but... It really needs fix. There they go. I might lose, t I might lose that front pack. All right, now the car looks fresh. I don't know. I think I might keep up with the front Let's pack there. Let's go. if I cheat. I can cheat now get on the track. Yeah, I'm going to lose a little bit of time with me on the track. I think that's Suarez on the track, so he's... I don't know. I 
don't know. We're gonna have to look at replays to find out if he got some kind of luck or what. Okay, we're about to turn in, but then again, the pit stops haven't cycled through yet. Yeah, Brad's exiting the pitch. We were... We were... We were... Knife before the cycle stops. So we're definitely gonna lose time. Probably back to where we were before the incident took place. Looks like 12th is where we're gonna be. So we've lost... About... Um... Four spots. On pit road. So that means... On the last stop, if it goes green, which the last three races, it hasn't gone green the whole way. So, if it goes green, and if we get yellow, I'm gonna, or if we pit, I'm gonna take right side tires and just hope we gain some track position. So, that's all I got hope for, but anyway, we're gonna have to go into sweat mode for a bit. All right, off of turn four, we are catching whatever's right behind Suarez for the third straight race. This hasn't found any luck. He's still stuck on the high line. And what it just can't get around him. He may get around him now, but we're going to go. Oh. Oh, shit. I want to wreck what if. I was going to take the bottom lane, but can't. But anyway, Suarez struggles for the second week, for the third race of the road. Struggling. Still there. Right now, we're on the cusp of the top 10. And yeah, because of that damage, I have lost time to the front pack. Because of that damage that I had, I have lost the front pack. So, in order for me to catch back up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, if it goes green, I'm gonna have to take right side tires and just hope that I gain time. Because if I finish here, that's a lot of points I'm gonna lose. But Brad's leading, and luckily Brad is not up. I don't, think he's, I don't know if he's up there in terms of the points. You guys probably know because I showed it. Well, I don't remember. I know um, Logano and Byron are the two main contenders. That's all I know. But this for a top 10 on Boogity and What If. We got by Boogity. Still there. Now we're going to side draft What If to try to get around him. Got one roll on your inside now. Here comes Daryl on the inside to make it three wide. But we're just going to get the power. Careful. And we're going to get to the bottom line. Alex Bowman leading. I think they're stuck in traffic. I'm not 100% certain, but Stenhouse is for position. The man won the 500 this past week. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to slide. Oh, boy, we were close. I thought we, had, I thought we got some space, but couldn't. It's really close. This is for top 10. Anyways, off of turn four. One. Welcome to my Speed Race Report. Careful, still there. Um, really exciting race until we had our incident where right on the bottom right here. Uh, we had to right, fix the car because we got into an incident or we ran in the back of someone because I don't know if an incident was happening. Uh, so far, no incidents happened in the top. Seven, I believe, are together. We just can't get by these guys. Because it looks like the and I are so fast on new tires. Focus forward here. It says once the tires... Yeah, halfway home. It says once we get old tires on this car, this car starts to drive a lot better. Once we get some rubber, the car starts to drive better. I have to slow up the outside lane a little bit. Just to stay even with them down the back. Got one high now. Hopefully I can get by Stenhouse to be in the clear. And we know, but I'm going to use the apron. We should, okay, we're clear. Okay, we are. All right, we're up tonight, finally. Took us a while, but we're up tonight. But the car's handling good for the most part. It's it's handling really good now since I don't have any damage on this car. It's, it's handling a lot better. It's just, I don't know, I think like last time, I gotta roll the high line if I want to find speed in this thing, but... Brad Kozlowski out front, I think the top six are together, then again, they are in lap traffic. I just don't know, I think if it goes green, which I don't know if it will, we might have to go with rights and just hope we gain some time. Because I'm gonna have to bet they're probably gonna go with four, and I'm gonna go with rights. 
Because I'm confident that my lefts could go to the finish. And again, just like Vegas, but then again, Vegas, we were not in this position. I think we were up near the front, and I took whites, and we gained a lot of positions. So, anyways, with 30 laps to go, we're going to have to make one more stop. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It's just, we, we have lost a lot of the ground since I had to come in and fix the car. But anyway, this has been Lawrence Big Race. All right, heading down the back stretch of Kyle William Byron. This will be for eighth place. We are in some lap traffic, so it looks like we're finally getting back into play. We're finally somehow getting back into this, but here we go to leave Byron for eighth. Still there. With 22 to go, we're, we're somehow getting back in this. We've cleared Byron, so now we're up to eighth. I think the next guy we got to pass. Oh, hold on. The next guy we got to pass is Kyle Bush, who's in that front pack. Byron flying back. Stay high up here. And, uh, yes, track. we're clear. Okay, we're clear. I can shut the door. And now I can focus. I'll try to run out the top stop. The guy was leaning. That's not good for me because I'm good. He's going to be the point leader going into Charlotte if he ends up winning this, which I hope he doesn't. Hope he's still going to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to roll high and get by on both. But golly, that's not good for me. So, yeah, we're going to have to pull some strategy. Like we did at Vegas, gonna go for rights. We're low here, bud. And um, hope for hope for some luck, because I'm gonna go with we're rights. Right if it goes green. Big if it goes green. But anyway, off a turn four. Uh, here's a 20 to go on board. 20 left to go this time. I don't wanna jinx it, but so far, we've had a caution-free race. No caution yet. Um yeah, um, I don't know, fellas. We're gonna have to go with rights on the last stop and just hope we gain some time on the on the pit road. Because the only way to make up time is to pit early, and well, the only real way to make up time is to pit early. And we're gonna go with right side tires, like we did at Vegas, and we ended up winning. Well, I think we were running up front in the beginning, so like I said, we're gonna pull the same strategy here, but. This race is playing out a lot different, but and again, this time we we we, we we haven't had a yellow yet. But yeah, they're they're like right up there if I get past Rennick, I believe, or Gregson. I think I think it's Rennick. Uh that's Gregson. Alright. So yeah, we're catching them, because they're they're like bunched up, so we are catching them. We're gonna get a sniff of Gregson's draft. But yeah, we're closing. They're right up there, so. Anyway, uh, let's go. I don't know. We might have to make our stop before we catch them, but if they get held up a lot, it's going to be really good for me because then I can go with rights and hopefully get by them all, but we're going to wait and find out. But first, we got to run, run them down. All right, looks like off a of turn two. I think some of the cars up here are going to pit as well. I think some of them are, but looks like... I don't know if they are or not, but... We're definitely pinning. We're really good with right side tires, like I said. Oh, yeah, they're coming in. We're going to be aggressive here. Oh, this may be too aggressive. Watch your speed, please. And, okay, right side tires. We're going with, um, let's go with one and a half cans, right sides, and we'll be out on the way. Here we go. Let's hope the strategy works. Nine, ten seconds. <laughs> That's our only chance. <clears throat> All right, looks like the guys up ahead took rights, but okay, get back in. There. All right, now we gotta see if the strategy works. It probably will. Oh, there's, Le I think that's the drama. I'm not 100% certain. But looks like we be doing the strategy. We're definitely gonna be a lot closer. Got a car coming high now. Watch that car in front of you. If he's slowing down, he's going to be pitting. All right. Yeah, the car's gonna hit a lot different now since I'm on right side tires. But yeah, I yeah, we're definitely gonna make up a lot of time since I took rights. We're definitely gonna make up a lot of time, so we got 15 to go. We're just gonna have to see how much we gain here. Well, I'll turn four. Let's see we cycle out. We're gonna cycle out fifth. Fourth. Careful, still there. We'll see how many more we get. All the way up, get up, get up, clear high. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, I see inside. two seventy sevens in the field. Look ahead for me here. Clear outside. It looks like we're fourth. So yeah, we gain a lot of spots. We gain about four spots by just taking rights. I think All some clear. of the guys up here went with the same strategy I did. So yeah, now we're just gonna have to hope it's on luck. I really hope this goes great, because I want to see if I can actually catch the guy up. Because right now, seven points is what? I think it's, if I finish fourth, I think the guy and I are going to tie for the points lead if it plays out like this. I, I don't know. I, wait, hold on. Um... Yeah, we might, we might, we're probably going to tie for the points lead if it ends like this. We're going to be tied. So hopefully I can get another spot to where I can keep my point lead by at least a point going into Charlotte and hopefully no disaster going to Talladega. So the next guy I got past is uh, Kyle Busch and Chase Selly, which they're side by side right in front of me for second. So can we run them down 11 laps? We'll see. That's a big lap traffic. Oh yeah, crash! Yellow, 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 yellow. Oh no! Yep, I saw it happen right in front of me. I might got damage from that, but luckily, uh, 21 cars are on the lead lap. I don't know, but luckily we got a lot of laps, so we're gonna just be safe in pit and fix it. Cause I don't trust the the thing. Wait, how many laps to go? We got. We got. Um, this is so. This is so ass backwards. We got. Let. We got about nine to go. Yeah, we'll pit. We'll get fresh tires. We'll fix the car. We're gonna be twenty first, so we're on the inside. Ty Dillon gets the free pass. Might as well Have fix it. All right. We'll see how many spots we get here. Back to racing. With seven laps to go. And again, we're on fresh tires, so we should gain some spots. I gotta go high, because they're gonna be slow here. Yep. I did not get the start I was hoping for. And yeah, here we come, because then again, we're on new tires. Legato's leading, that's all I wanna see. Oh boy. Man, I just hope these races can go green. And it looks like the trend of the one oh, one yellow race will continue for another go. week. Clear. It's just we can't get we just can't get a race that goes caution free. Focus it's like it always happens. The game finds a way to bring out yellow to bunch up the race. Bottom's covered right here. It happens again. We got about a few laps to go. Oh shit, almost got in the bleeding. In the top ten. Five to go. All right, in the top ten. Again, we're on new tires. Chase Elliott to the lead. Yes, now we're in this front pack. And again, we haven't had the best car the whole race, but when it matters the most, we're up here. What if is up here? Oh boy, really tight in the three. Cause last game on the bottom, we're three wide in the middle. We have four to go. Big heavy run, nowhere to go. Chase Elvis some minor damage, he's still up here. One back. What if out front? On the outside. Still there. Ah, uh, nowhere to go. Gotta push Brad. You're all clear to the bottom. Okay, four wide. Brad a little loose! High lane's rolling here. Clear behind him. Bow in the front all banged up. What if Lynn with three laps Bowen. to go? We're up to third. We are have the main contenders that I'm racing with at the moment, Legal and Byron. Truex going for the layoff. What if? As Bowen is on my inside, try to take third back with two and a half to go. And again, I am on new tires. We'll push what if nope. here. Stay high. Oh yeah, there's Byron Legale. They're both right there. Four wide for the lead. As we now got two laps to go. Billy on the inside looking for the lead. Is there any 
Troll X! And he's got it going to turn one! And we're up to fourth! Bowler trying to go for the top spot! Clear left. Right, here we go to the bottom for third place. We're coming to the white flag. Three wide for second. Still there. And one lap to go. Next Get flag up. ends it. We are up to second place. Let's see if we'll take the lead. We're going to rule the high line. Try to get around the back stretch. Byron's going to clear me, but we got to run. Hand down the back stretch, hand to turn three. Oh, here we go. And it's not going to be enough. Bill Elliott is going to win Kansas. And we're going to get second. All right. We get a point on Byron and we get a lot of points on the go. That's the most important thing. Byron might take second in points, so... Yeah, it's not bad. But let's see if Suarez got involved in their accident. What happened? All right, here's where the accident happened. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was BJ McLeod. Yeah, that's where I made the pass. But let's see what happened. Oh, Suarez! For the fourth straight race. Gets collide. Oh, he spun! Suarez for the, for the, um, fourth straight week, or the third straight race, gets involved in some incident, but we got second, Billion wins, William Byron third, Joe the Guy on night, so we're gonna gain about eight points, or seven points, so we're gonna have about, what, a 14, 13 point lead going into Charlotte, well, maybe not, because Byron... Byron gained some points, and he was about two behind. I don't know. I think Byron's going to get second, but let's check the points in the minute. Um, what if got 11th? I finished second. Uh, Boogie gets 13th. Kenseth, um, Kenseth, uh, 15th. And believe it or not, the 17th finished back to back. And they both finished ahead of Chris Busher, which is really odd. Uh, 22... Basically had to fill in the lead lap. Suarez, 25th. And Chastain, Garrett Smith, they're the guys that didn't finish. And, yep, Byron is second by 10 points. Going into Charlotte. And, yep, I have a 14-point cushion over Legato. So I have a 10-point lead over William Byron going into Charlotte next Sunday. So, yeah, really good. Bowman up tonight. So basically, the top eight now are within a full race. So not bad. Not bad at all. Joe Legal with the fastest lap, 38-3. Probably led the, Alex Bowman led the most laps with 18. I was on the move. 38th to second on new tires, so not bad for me. Ross Chastain, 22nd to 39th. All right, so next Sunday, we tackled the longest race. Even though in 2014, it was a 500 mile race, but it's not in this game. So we got the 600 next. Next Sunday, that's with no stages. We're going to do it based off real life. No stages. Um, if this was... If this was... Um, if this race was in the playoffs, I would have had stages. But since since this was not in the playoffs in 2014, we're not going to add stages in this one. And the scheme we're going to go with is that. The uh, Mobile One Patriotic scheme. That's the car we're going with for Charlotte. Because this is the Patri this is the race where everyone throws back. Because this race was held Memorial Day weekend, so might as well bring bring to the six hundred next week, and we're going to it with the ten point cushion over William Byron. So not bad at all. Um, we'll show you the points once again. Again, ten point lead going into the six hundred. Bill Elliott, uh, twenty three back from me. Um, not bad at all. So, Bill Elliott, is Billy outrunning, yeah, Bill Elliott's outrunning his son in points. Which is really, really crazy. Boo the bully last, that's really unfortunate. But yeah, fellas, um, that's it for me. I'll see you all next week when we tackle Charlotte. Uh, we'll see if we can maintain our point lead after our second place run at Kansas. 
Bat to bag mile and a half, which means because I expect a similar result. But this is a different. This is like a actual D shaped race track with two short with two uh, dog legs. So it's really different, but should the car should handle about the same. So anyway, I'll see you all next week for we tackle Charlotte. And as always, have a good day, everyone. Take care.